Hello and welcome to the craziest red cards ever today. We're going to take a look at some that are just absolutely mental, like no idea what was going through the people's heads, and some that are just outright hilarious. These red cards are just off their head. Be it the players that are involved are just loons, or the referee has just totally forgot his brain that day and has gone bonkers. So... Very quickly before we get into it, I just want to mention to you guys again, as I said last time, I can't actually put the clips of the incidents in this video because of copyright issues and stuff like that. But you guys seem to absolutely love these videos, so I want to carry on making them for you. And to make it nice and easy for you guys, just at the top of the description, there's a link to every single video that I have talked about in this. Where you can go and watch it on someone else's channel who's probably going to get themselves banned off YouTube, but I'm not going to put them in my video. But like I said, you guys absolutely love them, so I'm going to carry on doing them. And if once again, we could smash like 7,500 likes for these videos, that would be insane. You guys go mental for them, and I will bring you another one out of the suggestions in the comment section. As well, if you do want to get any coins very quickly before we get into this video, there's a link down in the description to IG Sky. Apparently, there's a little bit of a lack of stock at the moment, so be patient if you do order, but you will get them 100% reliable. The discount code DAJ3 is 5% off, and they are still mad cheap. But let's get into this video and take a look at some of the craziest red cards ever. In goal, we have got Angel Di Maria, which I thought was very fit, and he's not a goalkeeper, but one of the reasons, or part or half of the reason that he was got sent off was for diving. So, stuck him in the goal because he's got pretty decent diving, has our Angel, but he is no angel at all because he got his first yellow card for diving. Aaron Ramsey was basically just running next to him and he just jumped on the floor. He got a second yellow card for touching the referee. Now, I think this is pretty hilarious because, first of all, he barely touched the ref, but it is fair enough, zero tolerance, you touch the ref, you're going to get booked. It was Di Maria's second yellow card, and off he goes, sent on his marching orders, and there is his red card for his two yellow cards. But the thing that for me makes it absolutely crazy is the inconsistency of it. Michael Oliver was the ref who sent off Di Maria for this, and there is pictures and there's videos all over the internet of Vincent Company grabbing him around the chest, and even worse, Joe Hart squared up to him, like his head on Michael Oliver's head, like, what are you doing? And he didn't do anything at all. Di Maria grabbed the back of his shirt a little bit, Turned around, whipped out a yellow card, and sent the poor bugger off. Centre-back, we have got Javier Mascherano. This one is from the World Cup. He was on a stretcher. One of them stretchers that is basically a golf buggy where he'll sit on the back and he drove onto the pitch, lifted you onto it, and drove you off the pitch. So, technology these days, I don't know why they didn't just walk on and carry him off, but Mascherano was a little bit annoyed at the guy driving or next to the stretcher or something like that. And just booted him as he was going off the pitch. Literally just kicked him. No, not sure why. Maybe he was driving a bit fast. Maybe he was in the way of where he wanted to put his leg. But no idea. Maybe Rationado was just pissed off because he was having to go off injured. Stamped on the guy's arm or whatever the hell it was. And the ref runs over and gives him a red card. Even though he's going off the pitch anyway. And he ended up getting banned for a few games. So pretty stupid. Not sure why he did it. But that... It's just Mascherano, isn't it, really? He's a little bit crazy. Bit of a feisty terrier as a centre-back. He's only like 5 foot 10. So he's got to put himself about other ways, and that's apparently by kicking the medics. Next one, then, at centre-back, we have got a guy called Simonek, is I think how you pronounce his name. And he is representing a guy called Josip Simonic, I think. Oh, God, I don't make this easy for myself anyway. We could sit here for hours with me trying to pronounce his name, but that's not what we're going to do. Just going to get straight into the story instead. This is representing the guy who was sent off for three, yes, three yellow cards by Graham Paul at the 2006 World Cup. Graham Paul, in his infinite wisdom, booked this guy, and then the second time he booked him, he didn't send him off. Apparently, the second time, he accidentally wrote the wrong name down and got him confused at someone else, so he didn't realise that that was actually his second yellow card and send him off. But a few minutes later, the guy committed another foul. You think he'd have learned and started being good and like trying to avoid the fact that they're on the pitch with 11 men when they should have 10, but no, he pulled someone down in the area for a penalty, I think it was, and got himself booked for the third time, and Paul actually noticed that it was the guy this time. Third yellow card, he actually sent him off for that one, but he got away with the first two, which was pretty impressive, but unfortunately, he didn't learn his lesson, and went and got himself sent off for the third one. Anyway, an honourable mention should also probably go to Dean Windass, who, this guy got three yellow cards, which is pretty impressive. Dean Windass took that up a whole new level. He got himself three red cards, which is just madness. He got sent off for a second bookable offence. He then got another red card straight away for dissent and just being horrendous to the referee. And then he got a third red card for attacking and ripping up a corner flag, all in the space of, like, a minute. So, this guy got three yellow cards, which is pretty impressive. Dean Windass took that to a whole new level in 1990. 
97 and got himself three red cards in the same game, which is just crazy. Couldn't put him in the game, obviously, because he's retired a long, long time ago, but just thought he deserved an honourable mention. As we move over to left-back, where we've got a very, very, very famous one, we have got Kieran Gibbs getting himself sent off, or rather Oxlade-Chamberlain getting him sent off, because Andre Mariner couldn't tell the difference between the two of them. Oxlade-Chamberlain with a flying dive and handball, and he goes and sends Gibbs off instead. Right back, we have got a striker. Because we don't care when we do these squads, we just put anyone in. The people with the craziest red cards are going in, not the people who fit in these positions. So, we have got Edison Cavani. This guy's yellow card, slash second yellow card, slash red card, were both pretty crazy as well. He got the second one in similar circumstances to Di Maria. He got the second yellow card for touching the referee. So, the way Di Maria dived, got a yellow card, and then touched the ref and got a yellow card, Cavani did the same thing. However, his... First bit was even crazier. Like the Di Maria one was mental because that referee's been headbutted and squared up to and he didn't do a thing. And then he went and sent Di Maria off for just touching the back of his shirt. Cavani's first yellow card, he got it for doing a celebration. It wasn't even a bad celebration, not in my opinion anyway. He didn't like take his shirt off, which is frowned upon or anything crazy like that. He literally, the way some people do like a bow and arrow, he did one that was like a gun with his arms like that. I don't know what's wrong with that at all. Like people will celebrate by going like that and pretending to fire an arrow into the crowd. This guy pretended to, I don't even know, it doesn't even look like a gun, but the ref gave him a yellow card for it anyway, and then he got annoyed at the ref, touched the ref, and the ref just gave him another yellow card and sent the poor boy off. Centre midfield then, we have got Ronaldinho, who this is one of the absolute hilarious ones when you guys watch this. The referee sent Ronaldinho off when he didn't mean to send Ronaldinho off, and his face is priceless. Goes into his pocket, whips out a red card, realises it's a red card, and is like, oh shit, puts it straight back in and gets the yellow out instead. So he meant to book Ronaldinho for just shouting at him and bit of dissent or something like that, and he accidentally whipped a red card out instead, and Ronaldinho was like, what are you doing? And he just quickly puts it away and gets a yellow out instead. So it was all in good humour. Ronaldinho didn't seem to mind, and the ref had a bit of a chuckle, but it didn't half make me laugh when I seen that one. Left midfield, we've got the person that inspired this squad. We have got... Aurelana is, I think, how you pronounce his name. I'm not too sure, but is the guy who got sent off last week for throwing grass at Sergio Busquets. I don't know why. We've all done it when we were little, when you lift your foot up and pull, like, a chunk of grass from in between your studs and launch it at your mate. This guy did it at Sergio Busquets. Got him right in the face, to be fair. It was a pretty good shot when you go and see it, and the referee just gave him a straight red card for violent conduct. Right midfield, we have got Neymar, who is another... Funny-ish one, but it is arguably the craziest one out of all. Neymar scored an unbelievable goal in the Ligo do Brasil, as Neymar just did all the time, basically, because it's Neymar. But he scored this goal, and then he ran over and picked up a mask from the bench, I think. And I'm pretty sure it was his own face that he had a mask on. Put this mask on just... Don't know why, he just did. He just went and got a mask and put it on. That was a celebration. Kind of like when Royce did the Batman celebration... And put like the Batman cape and stuff like that. And Neymar put a mask of himself on. Don't know why, but he did. And the referee just sent him off for it. He just sent him off for putting a mask on. I've got no idea why. Pretty sure it was his second yellow card and he'd been booked for something else. Probably diving. But he just gave him a yellow card just for putting a mask on. Some, some of this stuff is ridiculous. Like, it's a celebration. Just... Just let them do it. I don't know. Maybe it's because there's just zero tolerance and you've got to draw the line somewhere. So they've drawn it right at the start because people would start getting a little bit crazy. But at the same time, he put a mask on and you've kicked him out of the game for simply just just, just putting a mask. I don't even know what to say. It's absolutely stupid. Go and watch it and you guys will see. The goal he scored before it was absolutely insane as well. Ridiculously good goal. And then the poor guy got himself sent off. Centre attack in mid, up first we've got Charlie Mulgrew, who got sent off for one of the most embarrassing moments in football ever. Talking about the referee getting squared up to before, Mulgrew squared up to someone, and before the heads had even touched, the other guy collapsed on the floor as if he'd been headbutted. One of the most embarrassing things ever, and Mulgrew got sent off for it again for violent conduct. Next to him, at centre attack in mid, we have got Basufa, who once again, as a lot of sending offs are, was sent off for violent conduct, this time at the referee. It was his second yellow card, and he got the second one for booting the ball at the ref. Whether he actually meant to boot the ball at the ref, I'm not too sure, but that's what that's basically what happens. He kicked the ball, it hit the ref in the back or the back of his arm or something like that. The ref spun round and was like, what are you doing? And just whipped the yellow card out and sent the poor guy off again. Not too sure if he actually meant it. If he did, he probably did deserve to get sent off, but it didn't really look like he just kind of kicked the ball in a general direction towards like a load of people, to be honest, and it just so happened to hit the referee. And Basufa got sent off for it. And then up front, we have got arguably the most crazy one of all, Eden Hazard getting sent off 
for kicking a ball boy. In my opinion, the ball boy deserved it, and he didn't even really kick the ball boy, to be honest. He was being an absolute arsehole and lying on top of the ball, and Hazard just poked the ball out from underneath him, and the ball boy went down like he'd been shot when he barely even got touched. There was madness at the game. All the fans went crazy. The Swansea players were coming running over. The referee gave him a straight red card. To me, the ball boy should have been sent home, and Hazard should have been allowed to carry on playing, but what are you going to do? That, though brings us to the end of this video. So they are the craziest 11 red cards that I have ever seen in football, basically. All the ones that are still on this game, because Dean Windass is an absolute just nutter and managed to get three in one game. If you can think of any others that are not players in this game anymore that are just smashing these guys out of the water, pop them down in the comment section. And any other ones, that, videos like this that you would like to see, suggest them down there as well. If you do want to come and follow me on Twitter to help me build these squads, I was tweeting out asking for suggestions for this one. There's a link to my Twitter, my Instagram, all that good stuff down there as well. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Go and check out all of the clips. There's links to them down in the description, and I will see you next time.